going to address on one of the greatest challenges facing our country today, illegal immigration. Officials here at the White House are starting the hard sell on his immigration proposal. I'm here today to announce that the program known as DACA that was effectuated under the Obama administration is being rescinded. This morning, Secretary Napolitano announced new actions my administration will take to mend our nation's immigration policy, uh, to make it more fair, more efficient, and more just, specifically for certain young people, sometimes called dreamers. I guess as a whole is how do you build visibility around issues that you care about? And for me, it's both tech and then, of course, um, everything I do has to consider like my immigration status. Um, given the immigration status, like we we've, we've only been able to survive by hiding, and so to try to build a career that has high visibility, it's very contradictory to that. And so to be able to do to protect yourself and still build visibility for your career. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Vilches. I am an engineer and entrepreneur. I currently serve as the chief executive author at Latino Tech, an organization that helps entrepreneurs of Latino background get access to venture capital to fund their technology startup companies. So I went to school to study engineering. I graduated with a degree in mechanical engineering. So I learned a lot about like how materials behave, how do you produce things, whether they're made out of metal, wood, whatever it is. Um, and I also, I, I mean, I did architecture in high school too. So I have a lot of technical experience and education in that way. just trying to grow out a nonprofit that the goal of the nonprofit is really to help anybody that's of Latin background both men and women um, to gain access to capital for their startups I have a year left with DACA. I'm a person first. And it's like, I am a person that's here in a very uncomfortable immigration situation that I'm only trying to do my best with, that I did not willingly, intentionally ask for. But as a person, as life circumstances get thrown at us, like we all do our best with whatever life throws at us. And this just happens to be my specific situation with regards to immigration. It does not define me. And when a lot of the immigration stuff was happening, I felt like for for the movement, you needed to be there. You needed to put effort behind it if you wanted to get something across the finish line and which we needed to. At this point, there, it wasn't that it's nice to have, but we can do without it. It's like, no, it was our only chance, one, not to be aggressively targeted and two, to actually find some sort of solution to be here, to never have to worry about working again. And so it's like, I can either stay here and continue to, to do the, the work that I'm doing and let other people fight this fight or I can join this fight. this like i know people hate to be told like vote or like you have to go and register and all these things but like really like vote like go out there and vote in november and like vote for the people that will actually push to get something through um the other thing is like i tell people like talk to talk about people you know that are going through this that like if they're open about like their situation and you don't have to say their name but it's like if they're if they don't want but if they do and they're okay with it it's like 
you know, as a citizen to be like my friend so and so is 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 nice to me or like we had a great time in this trip and you know it sucks to, to know that they're going through these things because they're they're just like everybody else.